Good afternoon. This is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Wednesday, June 21st, 2006. Let's go ahead and take a look at the market. I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes because I'll be uploading it to YouTube because I cannot trust Google. Uh, let's take a look at Google, speaking of Google, uh, because I was pretty bearish on that yesterday and I actually bought some puts uh, yesterday as the stock broke down and here in the afternoon I had bought the July 380 call, uh, puts rather so slightly out of the money front month that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck and this morning the stock gapped higher and I was pretty concerned about that right off the bat it showed a little bit of weakness and in here I had covered uh, those puts uh, and, and rightfully so because they went on to uh, would have cost a lot more but the bottom line is, like I said in my previous post, it's one thing to be wrong, it's another thing to stay wrong. So if anyone followed me on that trade, there's going to be good trades, there's going to be bad trades. I hope you're not, still not in this because right now Google looks like it can continue to move higher. It got back above that 50-day moving average, and I suspect that there's a lot of shorts being squeezed in there right now as they were looking at the same things I was looking at, which is a stock has been hanging on its 200-day moving average and thinking of the old phrase that in a bear market they get all stocks and nothing's immune to a bear market. I was figuring that Google might be next on the list and might actually come in real hard and kind of put an end to the selling. So much for what I think, because the market doesn't care what I think. That's why we have to use stops on all of our trades. That's why I'm always so uh, cautious about warning that there's a lot of risk. So hopefully if you lost, it was a small amount. Let's move on from there. The Qs today put in a really nice day. Um, the market, though, did, you know, we saw this nice green candle here, and I'd been talking starting on Sunday in my uh, Sunday post uh, video, go back and check that one, and yesterday afternoon what video, which actually turned out to be an audio tape uh, that I had posted on Yahoo because the Google didn't work, but anyways, I was talking about this inverted head and shoulders pattern, and I'd first mentioned that perhaps it was forming you know over here we hadn't really seen the formation of the right shoulder yet but something to be aware of and that taking out thirty eight dollars and seventy cents would complete that well the market took out that thirty eight seventy level and then came in uh, you know pretty strong at the end of the day uh, to that level where we see the neckline now in order to come up with a price objective what we do is we take the height of the pattern thirty seven twenty up to the 3870 uh, level, so this is a dollar fifty. If we added a dollar fifty to this level that we're at right now, basically it would give us a, a price target of forty dollars and twenty cents. If I did that math quickly in my head correctly, um, but anyways, the bottom line is it's a potentially bullish pattern that we see here, and a, a pullback to the neckline is very common. What I don't like to see here, though, is this real heavy volume. Tomorrow, we're going to have to see if the market can stabilize above, I think, 39, 38.50. Uh, below 38.50, there's, there's going to be a reason for more concern, but I think holding above this level, the market can kind of find a little bit more solid footing in here and perhaps head higher. We'll take a look a little bit more at that later. Let's go ahead and review these stocks that I've been mentioning. First, we'll look at SIMC, Simclar. Uh, this is a stock that I'd mentioned that we wanted to buy it above 950, would put a higher high in. It went above there and had a quick rally. Uh, I bought it this morning at 950. 9.35, I don't remember what the price was, but I bought it in here at 42 cents, I think maybe it was. And as the stock rallied up, it came up to R2, and that's where I sold it. I sold it at $10.14. I figured that from 9.40 to 10.14 was a good trade, and it had ended up being that that was the majority of the move for the day. I still think the stock looks bullish, um, but I tend to take my profits quickly and my losses quickly, uh, especially in a volatile market like this. We saw a lot of things come in hard right at the end of the day, and uh, I think you're better off booking your profits in this environment when you have them. ILE, this is a stock that I had mentioned that we wanted to raise our stop to $3.28. You can see that that was a pretty tight stop. It got down to 325 today. So as far as I'm concerned, that one's off the list. And then we had, of course, PPHM. I did get involved in the stock, paid 168 and 169. I'm still in it. My stop was at 164. So I'm still in PPHM. The 10-minute chart doesn't look fantastic. However, I do like this daily chart quite a bit in here. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that one. As far as a couple of shorts we had been looking at were BEAV. 
Uh, we were stopped out of that one, so we don't have to wait for that to pull up because there's not enough time to to spare for for waiting for the chart. IVAC was something that we were stopped out with a small loss as we as we lowered the stop in there. For some reason, this chart doesn't want to pull that pull up on the intraday time frame, but we were stopped out at about a 10 cent loss or so. ENER never got below the prior day's low, which is what we were looking for as a short entry on this stock. So that never uh, really signaled for us to get involved in there. Um, yesterday, I had mentioned CTXS. I did trade this stock early on, didn't hold it as, as long as maybe a lot of people would have, uh, but it ended up being a nice trade to the long side. What is wrong with these charts? Um, here we go. So it got above that level that we were looking at, which was 36.75. And right now, you know, I thought it could get up to 38, 38.50. I'd be a little concerned in here if it breaks down. It, it's made this higher high, but if it makes a lower low, if you're still in it, I would get out of CTXS. It made a real nice trade in here in the morning, and I figured it was time to move on. ERS, I had mentioned, was a very dangerous stock based on the fact that it's in this severe downtrend. And just because it's down a lot doesn't mean it can't keep going further. But we had reason with this MACD divergence to believe that perhaps it could turn around in here. Um, I was in the stock pretty aggressively today. I've still I've still owned a little bit of it. I'm at about a break even on the remaining shares. But I bought some good in here, sold it on the way up. I really am not going to give it much patience, much tolerance from here. I think maybe 1295 or so I'm going to bail on this stock because it's like I said, it's in a very severe downtrend and bouncing a little bit. RAE, Ray Systems, we're looking for a pullback towards 395 to get involved after late day strength yesterday at the towards the close. That never happened, so uh, no reason to uh, continue to update this one. VSE, the recent IPO, the um, uh, ethanol play, you know, the so-called only pure play in ethanol. We're looking to get long that above $26 a share. It did not happen. I, I'm going to take this one off the list for now. I think we'll revisit it in a day or two and see what happens with this five-day moving average and see if it can kind of create a little tighter support uh, range down in here, maybe come up to that 26, create a higher low, and then maybe uh, Friday or Monday of next week even, uh, we could look at that as a uh, another uh, potential play. ADSK, where we're looking for a rally and then a failure. It gapped lower, it rallied up, and continued to rally. So ADSK, for, as far as a short sale right now, doesn't look like it's going to uh, happen. REDF was another potential short sale. I said below $12.45 is where we wanted to short it. It never did that, so no reason to get involved. USO, I thought that oil was looking like it was going to break down. And just like my Google call, it was dead wrong. Oil rallied strongly today. But, you know, that's what stops are for. Again, I'm not going to be right all the time, but I'll always be honest with you and admit to it when I make a mistake, like in Google, like in uh, the oil play. It didn't break down, though, so there was no real damage done. CHK, we were looking to get short this stock below 28.50, so no harm done. Um, and the other one was XTO, which I was looking to see a rally and then get short. So had you done that, let's say you sold it short right in here. Well, your stop should have gone there for a small loss. So altogether, today I thought was uh, pretty constructive. If we look at those cues, uh, we can see that it's got uh, it's got some some support maybe here near 38.70, and um, maybe that's going to lead to something bigger. I'm going to end this video before we run out of time. I will be back this evening with another video with some ideas for tomorrow. Thanks for your time. Again, my name is Brian Shannon, and this is my blog, Alpha Trends. Thanks again. Have a great night.